November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, how do you hear, Josh? Summit to summit, summit to summit, summit to summit. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. We're at the uh, Morgan Trailhead and uh, gonna head up to Elsinore High Point this morning. So, San Mateo Canyon Wilderness area. So, anyway, it's not super long, but uh, it is kind of a drive for me to get up here. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Beautiful day. It's gonna be warm. On uh, San Mateo Peak, also known as Elsinore High Point, I think, uh, according to my charts. Um, that's what it's designated at on uh, the soda charts. Um, for soda, the ID is CT268. CT268. So that's what we're up here to do, but uh, we're also playing around with the drone, trying to get familiar with that, learning how to pack it. So I've, I've got a holster here that. Uh, Actually, the same one that my radio goes into, it's nice because it's universal. And it allows me to uh, make it larger for this for this drone. The biggest issue, well, it's wide and thick, but uh, we don't want to talk too much. Oh, we're talking about the drone, that's right, yeah. So it's all PG or G rated. <laughs> um, so, learned a few lessons. Uh, I'll go through lesson number one on drone flying. Don't forget anything. The only way to remember, though, I found is forget stuff, make it painful, and then you'll remember. Almost did that today with the batteries, but uh, then I remember where I packed them. Anyway, we're going to launch the drone up here and uh, give you a nice 360, I hope. Um, should be fun. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to get the antenna set up, too. And, uh, yeah, we're going to make a bunch of contacts. So let's get cracking.
summit to summit, summit to summit, summit to summit. Okay, we got a summit to summit. Let's take the summit to summit. Yeehaw! November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. November 3, X-ray uniform Lima. I'm at Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie, 368. I have you about a 57. Uh, how copy? Roger, Roger. Got you 59, dude. 59 uh, on summit. Whiskey 6, Charlie Tango, 268. 268. Roger that. We have you at Whiskey 6 Stroke, Charlie Tango, Tax 2, 268. Uh, stay safe up there, and uh, thanks for the chase, and thanks for the summit to summit. Roger that, dude. Have a good one. Will do. 73. Yeah! Another summit to summit. Gotta love it. All right, we got Jamie. Hoo! Gotta love it. Kilo six, Kilo Mike Hotel. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November one, Charlie Lima Charlie, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air, any station, anywhere. November zero, Romeo Sierra Romeo. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, how do you hear, Josh? Yeah, you're, uh, you're so full of lighting here. Uh, sounds good, Chris. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I just got the video turned on, so I thought I'd grab you. Uh, thanks for the contact, man. Got you 5-9. All right, very good. You're 5-9, and uh, I'm probably going to pack it up. I was hoping to do HF, but it took me so long to get up here. Uh, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to have to be happy with the, with the, the two-meter contacts I made and uh, haul butt back down to town. Yeah, roger that. Well, thanks for the contact, and have fun. Be careful. N1CLC. All right, thanks, Chris. Uh, 73, we'll catch you next time. Okay, it's November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air on 2 meter. Any station, anywhere. Uh, KB8, USB, got you about a 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. That is that i'm going to take my put the squelch back on my radio that's why it's so darn noisy um, but yeah i had a great time up here 31 32 contacts um i think 11 summit to summits so uh the big trick now is getting off the mountain safely um so i call that a huge win and uh yeah beautiful beautiful day up here and as you can see uh from the uh, drone shots. Got some really nice ones up here too. So, hopefully. Um, yeah, we got a good shot into the LA Basin. Uh, Josh is up in Catalina. Easy to get uh, four contacts with VHF anywhere near the LA area. There are a lot of great hams down there running two meters on uh, 146.58 and 146.52, either one. San Diego, same thing. A lot of nice guys over there as well. Um, but, uh, Beautiful, beautiful uh, peak up here today. If you want to get more information on the hobby, um, I put together a presentation at hamninja.com slash presentation. Also on YouTube, um, look at my video series called Soda 360. There's a four part series uh, built mainly around activating, which involves the planning and the equipment, an example activation, um, a little bit about safety and then how to upload your logs. So check that out if you're interested in doing uh, more on this hobby. Um, there's some other great YouTube stations out there. Um, if you want to look at building really small, like I'm talking thumbnail size radios, 
to take on the mountains with you, go to K6ARK, some of the coolest builds ever for portable radio. There's a lot of great uh, YouTube channels out there uh, for soda. Anyway, I'm going to head back down, see if we can't get a couple more uh, cool drone shots as they learn how to use the drone and not crash it. I guess that's uh, lesson number three is um, when you're doing any of the automated shots, probably want to really be careful <laughs> about obstacles. I crashed it into the side of this uh, small canyon, so that meant I had to take another 10 minutes out to crawl up and uh, retrieve the drone. So that's always fun, right? Retrieving drones off of sketchy sides. It wasn't too sketch today. So that was a good thing. I'll be a little bit more careful and uh, no more crashing for the drone or for me. Anyway, um, 73, let's get going. All right, some of you have asked what kind of pack I carry. I carry a Gregory. There's a lot of great packs out there. Um, one of the things I would suggest on a pack is that you go out and try them on. Go down to REI or somewhere else where you can try them on. That's the advantage of a big box store. I tried several. Um, I had an Osprey on that I really liked, but it started just one little place started chafing and the salesperson rightly said, hey, look, if it's, if it's itching now, imagine what it's like after 12 miles. And they're absolutely right. So you want to put a big load in it, try it on, get some professional help, and then figure out what you want. And then buy the pack back, backpack from those guys. So that's the pack. And one of the reasons why I like this pack is it opens from the top right up here and from the, I don't know if you call this a side, but kind of a front loader and a top loader either way. Um, I carry a shell. Um, I have a, a beanie and some gloves and that sort of thing. Sometimes I'll have another jacket in there. I've got a puffy jacket down here and then I got an antenna um, battery. I got my KX2 over here, which you've seen. Um, so, and I carry a radio. One of the ways that I keep from leaving stuff behind is, you know, when I first start out, you always leave stuff. And that, like I said earlier, the best way to remember is to leave something critical and then, yeah, you have to sum it. It's not too much fun, but then you start creating a, a, a checklist. I've got over 130 summits, so I really don't need a checklist anymore. But the other thing I do is I always leave everything in the pack. I pull the battery out, charge it up, uh, load the water in, get ready for the next uh, attack, and then I'm good to go. There is one downside, however, to doing that. Is you end up going up on the mountain with something like this. These are called micro spikes. Now, you really need these. These are very handy when you're going into an area that, uh, well, they may have some snow and ice and stuff. So you put these on your boots, you can go out and look them up. But it gives you fantastic uh, traction. But they weigh about a pound. You don't need that when you're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> so, it's probably a good idea once in a while to go through your pack and pull stuff out. Since hauling micro spikes up to a dry desert top mountain just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that expert tip from the Ham Ninja. Don't be an idiot like me. How about that? That's a good way to sum it up. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here. Lesson 55. The more stuff you carry, the more likely you'll leave something on the summit. Think about that. Let's get going. I have a bunch of paragliders out here today. I tried to get them on the drone. Flew over, then lost sight of the drone, so I had to bring it back. Um, so, a lot of people out having fun today. I love it. Alrighty, safe and sound off the mountain. Um, it's a fairly short hike. I think it's only a couple of miles, maybe a little more. I'll put that right down below. Um, so yeah, it was killer, killer uh, weather today. Perfectly clear. Um, really had a good time. We've got uh, today's summit brought me in uh, 43 contacts and 11 summit to summits, which, as you know, I love nailing. Uh, got George, KX0R and the GOAT, WZ0AT in there as well. Um, and 
um, a buddy from uh, up in Washington that I hiked with before. You may have seen that video. I'll link to it here. Um, Josh. So uh, he was over on Catalina Island. So what would be cool is if I could go over there and activate that um, and get a complete on Catalina. I've never done that. I've flown over there a bunch of times into the airport for a hundred dollar hamburger. Uh, lots of contacts. Uh, drones seem to be working well. Only crashed it once because of a, my screw up into the backing up into a cliff. So that didn't damage it. So we're good to go. Um, so yeah. Um, so I think right here, what we're going to do, we're going to roll the credits. Thanks a lot for watching and 73. Have a good one, guys.